Hi there Pisces, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 5th of September. Relationships continue to be very much in focus for you. With Mercury in this sector too, twisting backwards though, there is the potential for misunderstandings, but also to work at it in terms of improving the way you interact with other people. But with the Sun here, the Sun is forging an amazing alliance with Pluto. And if you're fortunate enough to be working on a relationship or to be together with someone on a project or strand that you both really are investing yourselves in, and it's something that you can mutually benefit from for the future, then a seriously wonderful angle to Pluto can see this take a giant step forwards in a way which can delight you. And what's more challenging is the role of Mars. Mars is a go-getting planet and it's in a very assertive part of your scope. It's shrugged off the rather enervating energies of your co-ruler Neptune and the more limiting ones of Saturn and it's now showing its elbows. This can make you more assertive but it's clashing with the sun this week and impatience can really be a problem around relationships and particularly if you want the relationship to be very much on your terms or conversely you're perhaps a little bit passive and someone is being rather too bossy towards you. This can cause some tensions this week and perhaps even in a professional tie too. Having firm boundaries is always a good thing for us all, but particularly for yourself because of your natural dreaminess and also tendency to flow with things because of the mutability and water rulership of your sign. So if you do feel there is a situation where someone is pushing around your rights and not being very fair, then just make it clear what is acceptable. And Mars can, in this context, be very good for you. There's also a quarter moon on Friday, which is emphasising the same areas. If you do go for a job or you're doing a presentation or trying to impress someone influential, it's a very important thing that you don't try too hard. In fact, listening can be just as important as talking this week. And with Mercury tracking backwards, you could pick up a lot from what you absorb from other people. So stay tuned, be very um, concentrated, because when Mercury's tracking back, it is possible that we do lose a thread, and then something could be arranged or said that you've not quite picked up on, and that can be a problem for you. But I think that angle between the Sun and Pluto, if you're fortunate enough to have that bigger goal with someone you really do click with, then that's something you can invest a lot of your energies in. Now Venus, the planet of loving, is in a very hot and passionate part of your scope. If you are fortunate enough to be in a romantic tie, which just seems to be getting deeper and deeper, Venus's link with Saturn is very positive, and you may even be thinking about a property matter or actually uh, combining your physical resources together in this alliance. However, on Friday, Jupiter shifts out of your sector of relating, where it's been for the last year, and into the sign of Libra. For you, this is about a deepening. There's an awful lot that you're going to discover over the next 12 months about yourself and your needs. Jupiter, of course, is the planet of good fortune traditionally, and the eighth house that he moves into is about business, it's about long-term finance, pensions, investments, and this can be an area, as long as you're ethical and straightforward in your approach, that you could do very well. You may even find that you're going to get into some kind of formal partnership during this next year, which can go from strength to strength. If you're one in one already, it can revive and start to bring in the lucre that you've often wanted. But this is a week principally to watch your relationships. There is the potential for growth, but I think sincerity is very important, coupled with an awareness of the need to be patient and not force the pace. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.